Hello and welcome to another Digimedia Dude short tutorial. I'm Marcelo Lewin, the Digimedia Dude, and in this episode, I'm going to show you Pixelmator, which is an alternative to Photoshop on the Mac only. Now, the key here is that's only on the Mac available. It's not available for Windows, but it is a great alternative because of the price point. The price point is $29.95, which you can get in the Mac App Store, and you can't really beat that. There's a lot of functionality. Now, keep in mind that this episode is only going to show you a just a quick overview of the app, what it looks like, some of the tools, but I'm not going to go in depth into everything. I will be creating other episodes in the future highlighting specific functionality of it. So I hope you enjoy it. Let's get to it. <laughs> So here we are in Pixelmator, which again, it's very important for you to understand this only works on Mac. They don't have a Windows version. There's a couple of things that make Pixelmator incredible. Number one, it's $29.99. So pretty much everybody can afford it and it makes a great alternative to Photoshop. And number two, it uses a lot of the same shortcuts, keyboard shortcuts and same tools as you're used to in Photoshop. So most of the stuff that we are doing in Photoshop as content creators will be able to do in Pixelmator. So as you can see, here we are. I've got a couple of documents opened. Here's my background for the Digimedia Dude. And here's a photograph that I shot when I was in Boston. Now you have a layers panel, just like you do in Photoshop. You have an effects browser, which allows you to add effects easily. So for example, let's say I want to add a Gaussian effect to this photograph. I can drag and drop it and then I can say how much or how little and it'll add it. You can easily add new layers. So for example, if I want to add text, I click on the T and then I can go ahead and add my text layer here, just like I do in Photoshop. And I'm going to say, this is my photo and obviously it's very little. So I'm going to select it all and then select there you go. Obviously, I'm just messing around here just to give you an idea of what you can do with Pixelmator. But one of the real powerful features of Pixelmator, besides the fact that you have every tool that you probably need. But the other thing that I like is you can actually open up Photoshop documents. Now, I haven't personally tested every single feature of a Photoshop document, but most of my Photoshop documents open up without a problem. So, for example, if I go into File, Open, and here's my business card that I created for Digimedia Do. So I'm going to open that up. And as you can see, it is a full PSD with all the layers coming in. So if I turn off, I believe it does add these previews for you for the font, but here are my fonts and it shows me every single layer, just like I had it in Photoshop. I can even edit the text layer just by double clicking in it and changing the text that I want to whatever I want. Again, this video is here just to show you an alternative to Photoshop. It's not really getting in depth on Pixelmator. I will have many more videos to show you on how to use Pixelmator and all the different tools it offers. Now, am I dropping Photoshop for Pixelmator? Absolutely not. However, if you need an alternative and you can't afford Photoshop, it's a great tool to add to your arsenal of content creation tools. Well, thanks for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed this episode. If you did, click on the thumbs up below. Also, remember to subscribe to my channel, DG Media Dude. And if you have any questions, comments, or opinions, please make sure you comment below. I really want to hear from you. So until the next episode, I am Marcelo Lewin, the DG Media Dude. See you later.